In this video, I will compare the Intel Core i7-12700H and AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX, highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. This Core i7-12700H released around one year after release of AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX. This Intel Core processor utilizes a hybrid architecture, incorporating both performance and efficiency cores. The Intel Core i7-12700H features 6 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores, while the Ryzen 5 900HX has 8 performance cores. With 12 performance threads and 8 efficiency threads for the Intel Core i7-12700H, and 16 performance threads for the Ryzen 5900HX, the latter excels in multitasking scenarios. This Intel processor is well suited for those seeking a balance between performance and efficiency. Performance cores effectively handle demanding tasks such as gaming and video editing, whereas efficiency cores manage background tasks like web browsing and email. The Intel processor manages demanding and background tasks in a more balanced manner. Ryzen proves beneficial for users who multitask frequently but don't always require peak performance. While the base clock frequency of the performance cores in Ryzen is higher than that of Intel but the Intel processor has higher number of overall CPU cores so Intel may perform better under normal CPU loads. Under heavy CPU loads, the boost frequency of the Intel i7-12700H appears to be greater than that of Ryzen, suggesting superior performance for the Intel processor in such scenarios. Having a greater number of cores and threads proves advantageous for multitasking and handling demanding workloads, such as video editing or 3D rendering. The L1 L2 and L3 cache of the Intel i7-12700H outperforms that of the Ryzen 5900HX. Consequently, this Intel processor typically results in enhanced system performance by facilitating swift storage and retrieval of data and instructions, minimizing the necessity to fetch data from slower main memory. Both of these processors support up to 64GB of RAM. While the Intel processor supports DDR5 and LPDDR5 RAM, the Ryzen does not support these. Additionally, the maximum frequency supported by this RAM is higher in the case of the Intel i7-12700H. Both of these processors support integrated graphics. The boost frequency of the Ryzen 9 5900HX is 2100MHz, whereas that of the Intel i7-12700H is 140MHz. The integrated graphics of the Ryzen, with a significantly higher boost clock frequency, may result in slightly better performance for graphical activities. The Ryzen supports ECC, while the Intel does not. Therefore, for critical systems, the Ryzen 9 5900HX is more suitable than the Intel 12700H. As the Intel Core i7-12700H supports PCI version 4 and the Ryzen 5900HX only supports PCI version 3, the Intel processor, having the latest PCI version, allows for more simultaneous data transfers. The peak temperature withstand by the Ryzen 5900HX is 105 degrees Celsius, while that of the Intel i7-12700H is 100 degrees Celsius. The TDP of both of these processors is configurable. The TDP of the Ryzen processor ranges from 35 to 54 watts, and that of the Intel 12700H is between 35 to 45 watts. Choose this configurable TDP of lower value if you prioritize battery life and portability. Now let's look at Benchmark's comp region. Cinebench R23 is a cross-platform benchmark software that measures the rendering performance of your CPU. Cinebench R23 is a good benchmark for measuring the performance of CPUs in tasks that require a lot of processing power, such as video editing, 3D animation, and rendering. It is also a good indicator of how well your CPU will perform in games that use a lot of CPU power. In Cinebench R23 single as well as multi-core this Intel Core i7-12700H to be better. Geekbench V6 is a good benchmark for measuring the overall performance of your computer, not just the CPU. It is a good choice if you want to get a general idea of how well your computer will perform in everyday tasks. In this Geekbench V5 also this Intel Core i7-12700H seems to be better than Intel in both single-core and multi-core. So now ultimate choose between the processor is upon you so choose wisely by looking at these specifications and benchmarks. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon to never miss any update.